The BMP's like right here. What the hell is it doing? Is that thing, is the crew nuts? Oh, it just fired my, oh God. They just broke it, they just broke my thing. Howdy boyos, welcome back to more Call to Arms. Today we are continuing the German campaign here with the third mission. It might have been a little confusing, perhaps, and if so, my apologies. At least some people in the comments seem to be a little confused, which wasn't my intention whatsoever. The idea is that I haven't played the German nor the Russian campaigns in Call to Arms, and today we're doing the third German one which means that after I'm done with this the next video you'll see uh, on well I guess call to arms and its campaigns will be the second Russian one then the fourth German one the third Russian one the fifth German one the fourth Russian one and we'll be basically going between Germany and Russia Germany and Russia um, you know after this one, going back to Russia. After I do that one, I'm going back to Germany. So we're going to be switching as to not uh, maybe, you know, have a lot of just one nation. I personally didn't mind doing that with the Americans because I actually kind of feel like I kind of blasted through that quite fast. But obviously with 20 missions, you know, there's 10 plus 10. Um, I just felt like that was a very good reason for me to kind of just go in between them and, and you know, switch between them. So if there's any confusion, my apologies, it wasn't meant to be. I just meant to say, we're going to be switching. So after I do a German one, we're going to do a Russian one. After I do a Russian one, we're going back to a German one. We're going back to a Russian one and vice versa. So in this mission, we have to meet some civilians <clears throat> who are going to let us know about what's going on in the area. Now, clearly, uh, as you may expect, we're just hanging out in their town, talking to them, and just then... A enemy convoy is about to drive onto our position. Now, personally, I prefer missions like this. Like, just, I prefer them so much more over the last mission we did. The last mission was, I think, a little basic. Um, yeah, well, the last German mission, that is where we just defended and personally i don't mind for example here we're going to be defending just for a couple seconds but defending isn't the entire name of the game here in in this scenario it's just that against his initial convoy that's going to be coming in towards us but i personally really don't like defending in these games i feel like they're they're kind of easy uh i mean i'm playing this on hard and I've got the realism mode turned on, which just basically means people die sooner, people die faster. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I just prefer attacking. It's way more fun. I get to actually uh, use all of the uh, the awesome um, camera views and stuff, which I personally really love about Call to Arms, like this first-person perspective. Oh, that was a little high. Try again. Oh, that was good. Kobe? Oh, wow, that just exploded in midair, kind of looked like. All right, so we need to get someone down here. Well, the rest of our squad holds the line. We got a sniper team coming in. All right, switch back to the R RPG guy. Oh, that's a good hit. It wasn't... Oof. Oh, wow, wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? I'm pretty sure that was an SPG-9. Yeah, yeah. They fired an SPG-9 at this dude. Personally... I kind of wish that somebody would maybe make a mod for Gates of Hell whenever the game comes out that will allow us to use weapons like this. Um, I understand why they didn't do it, but personally, I, I love this aspect of Call to Arms. It really took some time to grow on me, and I think it'd be really cool, obviously with Gates of Hell, the way that the direct control works, where you could switch between like the classic top-down view like this, right, and I could move my guy around, or this view, Obviously, the base call to arms doesn't have that uh, switch ability, so you have to select before... This is a very high quality wall, by the way. Before you go into the game, you have to select if you want to do the third-person direct controller or that like classic top-down view. 
Obviously, Gates of Hell doesn't have that. It has the, uh, you know, you can select and then you can switch between it in-game, which I think is absolutely fantastic. All right, well, you hit him once or twice there. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Oh, still a couple guys left over here. He's down. Maybe we can... Is that a guy who's down? Well, he's down now. Yeah, personally, I think that'd be really, really cool to see. Oh, we ambushed this convoy relatively easily. I think it'd be really cool to see uh, basically that same thing with the first person control, like you can actually, you know, look down the sights or aim the RPGs. I mean, the third person thing is cool, like kind of like this, I guess, right? In in Gates of Hell. <clears throat> but I really feel like this adds just a little bit more realism and um, especially immersion when you're actually like aiming down the sight or like even this, like, you know, kind of like FPS style or obviously um, actually aiming down sight. I think it just adds a little bit more than what Gates of Hell has, but obviously Gates of Hell will have the ability for people to switch between it on the fly, uh, which personally makes me really excited because obviously it means that, you know, the, the infrastructure is there. I mean, I don't think we're ever going to see it for Call to Arms, uh, you know, this version, the regular Call to Arms, which is kind of sad, but, you know, I guess Gates of Hell did prove it was possible. I was trying to figure out where I was going with that. I guess the point I'm trying to make is I hope somebody <clears throat> makes a mod for Call to Arms Gates of Hell that allows us to go into that first-person perspective. Now, the thing is, they would probably have to use assets from Call of Duty World War II or Call of Duty World at War, uh, you know, to, or even Red Orchestra 2, for example, uh, for all the guns, so, you know, look down sight, the, the, the ADS version. But I think it could be really cool. Anyway, what's our objective here? It's just to clear this village here. And then I assume there's more here. Oh, a mortar or two. Are those big ones? They look pretty big. Okay. Oh, we have two mortars here, a BTR. We have an ATGM team up on the ridge here. So we have a bunch of uh, guys, like, pretty dug in. So we're going to another ATGM. So we're going to have to get rid of them somehow. I think the heaviest thing we can get is a martyr. But we don't have the points for it yet. I don't know how many points we need, but we have 370 right now. I'm assuming that when we kill, we get points. I'm starting to kind of regret buying this sniper team now. So what do we have in store? We have one Panzerfaust. Okay, and then he has like literally 17. So maybe we'll grab the guy with one Panzerfaust and see if we can do something cheeky. I think one thing that really bothers me now, I'm paying attention to it. Clearly, I'm recording this, and it's quiet outside of me talking. And that bothers me. There's no voices in this game. There's nothing. Like, I didn't have him... Here, I'll, I'll show you. I don't have him turn off. Um, I have music turn off just because, well, I don't want there to be any copyrighted music in the background. And also, Men of War and Call to Arms have never really been known for their music, though Gates of Hell has some good music, but... Um, Look, vocal emotes, speech, they're both on, and there is none. I asked one of my friends who uh, is a little bit more familiar with Call to Arms, and he's like, yeah, no, they still haven't added voices. And I was like, really, dude? The game's been out for so long. And it's like, yeah, no, they just haven't added them yet. So there's a bunch of mods. I guess the ones that, ooh, hello. The ones that you really want to look into would be, well, the ones that would be worth looking into are basically guaranteed going to be mods that use... Um, like Russian and German voices, for example, from Red Orchestra 2, or even from Men of War Assault Squad. But, eh, I don't know. It's, it seems a little weird to me. This game has been out for a while. I mean, um, they say, I think it's out of beta. I mean, they release a bunch of DLCs, German DLC. Uh, there's a like, a like a minor faction DLC, if I'm not wrong. There's the Russian DLC. All these DLCs. Oh, well, these people are dying really easily. I guess that's kind of the downside of that uh, hardcore mode. Damn, these people, <laughs> this guy's a mat lad. This guy's about to be uh, promoted to freaking Superman. Anyway, it's a weird way to me that they keep adding DLCs, but then they're not adding any voices. So, DMS, where's where's the voices at, bro? Like, seriously? <laughs> where's the voices? Like, it just seems so weird that there's, like, just a whole combat thing going on, and they're all, they're all mutes. They all don't like to talk, or they lost their voice. It's very weird. Okay, we're gonna have to just pop over this ridge. Let's actually finish off this. There's one more guy to my left, apparently, over here. Or he might be below the wall. Um, let's finish him off. Okay, we know there's a guy over here somewhere. I figured if I suppress it, maybe he'll pop up. Okay, there's a guy in front of the BTR. So we're gonna have to do a thing here where we go one, two, three. 
Oh, that is freaking awesome. All right, now that guy that... Okay, he's already dead. And he's already... No, he's not dead. Okay, well, that was, I think, very easy. Wait, we didn't get any points for that? Don't tell me that. Am I not supposed to get any points towards this town? Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't want a dingo MG3. If anything, I want a 50 cal, but it looks to me like this might be a little harder than I thought. In the meantime, we'll pull our sniper team forward. Anyway, I, I don't know why I'm ranting on the game. It's just... I don't know, it's a little weird to me. This game has been out for very long. They have had... I mean, look, I'm not even blaming them necessarily for not having German voices or Russian voices because those are some of the newer DLCs. I mean, they're not super new, but they're newer. But, yeah, look, come on, man. The GRM and the US have been in this game since, like, 2013 and you wouldn't have voices for them? Like, what's going on? I can do a... I can do an American voice. Howdy, pals. This is the American soldier speaking. Like, seriously? Like, you can... I don't know. I don't. This doesn't have to be a, a poop on um, Call to Arms video, but, you know, I mean, people pay money for these DLCs. I, I don't know. There is definitely a dude over there, but there's also a guy over here. Okay, that guy was just standing there with his back towards me. I know there's one more guy, but I don't... Is that him? Nope. Is he? Where is this one, dude? Oh. Oh, look at that. He's in the house. Okay. Well, let's move everyone up. Actually, let's not, because there's a BR, there's a BTR over there. Um, switch to our pistol. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we, I wish there was a way to jump over. <coughs> wish there was a way to jump over stuff in direct control. That'd be really cool. Oh, that was like, I didn't think I'd finish them off with that, but I did. All right, let's see how effective our sniper is going to be here. Very long aiming time. I believe a G22 is basically like an L96. Those, oh, his buddies don't really care. Okay, well, that's really awkward. Sorry about that. Uh, I think it's an L96 sniper rifle, uh, but for the German military. But if I'm wrong on that, I'm sure someone will... Ooh, that is just very brutal. I'm sure someone will uh, correct me on that. Okay, it looks like we actually have a lot of defilade. But, oh. I have a lot of defilade here between ourselves and that BTR, which is what I'm afraid of here, mostly. Uh, what is this other... view? I'm out here afraid of a BTR. There's a freaking BMP2 over here. And I haven't gotten any points. Like, am I... Is there something bugged about this mission? I mean, I don't care. We'll play it anyway. And then if it is if it is bugged, we'll probably have to end up reinst uh, rest not reinstalling it, but restarting it. But, okay. I don't know if I can get eyes on those people on the rooftop. That's a lot of people over there. Okay, RPK. Oh, see, I I don't know if I I don't know if it's a one shot kill. Well, it's also not even in a, a hit. Some of my guys are engaging those infantry there now, and oh, got him. Sorry, that's such a brutal. Oh, there's a guy on that machine gun way back there. Did we get him? No. Okay, that would have been really funny. We'll we'll work on that guy later. Here's a head. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, it does a little bit of, uh, comes a little bit of scope wobbling, so you have to try and fight against that, but not too much, because you fight against it too much, then you're going to miss. Let's see if we can switch to the rifle here. Oh, that was a kill, I think. Okay, run, 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 run. There's a guy on that roof to the left over here. We do have that BMP2. The second he turns around, anyone who is basically, like, open to the BMP2 will die. Oh, here's the BTR. Is it an 80, 80A or 82A? It does look like it. Is there a guy over here? There's a guy right next to his wall, isn't there? Oh, God, there is. Okay. Duh, duh, duh. I feel like every time I... All right. Uh, so far... Oh, God. So far, these enemies are not really giving me any trouble. 
Well, this would be a perfect... It is a BTR-82A. Yeah, it is an 80 or an 82. There we go. Really expected to get some points from this at some point. Nope, still have received zero manpower. I'm starting to think this mission might be bugged. Is this is this feels to me like one of those missions where you get manpower based on your performance. Like, you know, you kill a vehicle, you get like 100, you kill an infantry guy, you get 10, whatever, you know, something like that. But so far, this doesn't seem to be one of those missions. Call to Arms does really freak me out a little bit. Was that a kill? I don't know, actually. Oh, the sniper. Let's watch this guy get sniped. Oh, that was very cool. That was like some Overwatch kind of... Well, not Overwatch the game, but like, you know, like a sniper Overwatch kind of thing. Now, Call to Arms does make me uh, kind of like a little scared sometimes. Like, coming around these corners, there's guys in these buildings and stuff. I personally really love this first person as There's a person, there's a civilian in there. Let's not shoot her. Almost shot her though. Thank God that I'm not super trigger happy. That would have been really awkward. Can we jump over this wall here? See, I wish there was a way to, unless I'm stupid. I don't think there's a way to do that. Oh, this is so scary to me. That there could just be a guy hiding in any of these windows. Okay, well we're getting, oh. No, crap. And he's, he's wounded. Okay, we gotta get our, yeah, let's get the rest of our squad in play now. There's a technical coming in. Um, where's my MG3? He's here. No, I don't know why you guys just wasted three rockets on that. No. Oh man, I hate I hate the AI in this game sometimes. Okay, where's my medic? That's a whole other company coming this way. My guy's gonna bleed out here soon. Okay, prone. Oh, that sounds so satisfying though. Okay, medic, get across the road, go, go, go. Oh, I think he's dead. Oh, that was a medic I was using? <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, we have one launcher left, and we have to take out the BMP with that. Still haven't gotten any points. I cannot believe it. Like, really? Okay, this guy has to stay safe, because he's the most important guy I have right now. Okay, he's down, he's down. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. They're freaking Leon. Oh, reload! I didn't realize that in time. I guess I should have been tipped off when I noticed the guy had a pistol. God, you can... Okay, God, God, okay, get out of here. Please give me some manpower. Please. This mission... Is it? Okay. Send them away from... Well, okay, we can see where the villagers are. That's not a huge issue, but the... The thing that I'm really afraid of is I haven't gotten any manpower yet. Um, well, let's find ourselves some villagers. We found some civilians. Okay, can we shoot them too, or is that a no-no? Wait, where the hell are they? Oh, they're just running right at... Oh, thank God, I thought we shot some civilians there. I was about to blame my machine gunner for massacring like a little group of civilians. They're running away right there. So is there one inside this building? No, no, they all got mowed down, but where's there's more civvies. There's another group of civvies in this building right here. Okay, so let's run in there. And get all these guys on the point. Okay. I think <laughs> I think this mission could be very much bugged considering I'm not getting any points. I'm not sure. I'm I don't I don't sure. I'm not sure what has happened. Okay. Still haven't got any points. Blow the enemy fuel reserves. 
Okay, well, let's take a look if there's anything in these boxes. Okay, there's an RPG at least, so we're not totally out of... I don't know why I'm not getting any points. This is so nuts. All right, uh, one heat. Yeah, sure. And then one of you. Maybe not the medic. Maybe anyone but the medic. Okay, you, sure, you're the AT soldier. Okay, so I'm still very confused why the game is not giving me any points, but... Is there any explosives in this outside of the RPG? Oh. Well, there you go. We only really need three. I don't know why I did it like that. Oh my god. Stop doing it. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then I guess we can just put TNT. TNT. And TNT. You should shift. There we go. Yeah, so if you hold shift, you can select... Let's make sure these guys are a little further away than that. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. They were kind of close to that, eh? They would have probably burned to death. Okay. These explosions are very satisfying, however. Okay, that should blow up all our reserves. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, we finally got some points. Did I have to do that entire beginning with just 370 points worth of units? Because that's pretty nuts. All right, well, uh, let's, I guess, we could still try to knock out this BMP with just our rockets. That, that I want to see how far it can get now. Screw the game. Okay, could I potentially get on top of this building? Lob a rocket at the BMP... Here we go. I don't know if that's a kill or not. That's that's a that's a kill. That's a kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. We'd even capture it if we wanted to, really. Crew's dismounted. Taking some fire here. Okay, you guys gotta go get out of here now. This crew member is like charging us on the left side of the, the screen. Taking some fire. This guy is almost out of health. Reloading. Oh, they're coming for me. They don't even, They did not like that I did that to their BMP. Oof. Okay. He's alive, but barely. Let's put our machine gunner up on this ridge. He'll finish off the last two guys. Actually, let's put him up here. Start... Oh, I love that. That's so brutal. Who's still shooting me? Oh. Oh, it's a it's an employed machine gun. Or emplaced, not employed. <laughs> well, technically speaking, the guy on the gun is probably an employed machine gunner, get it? Because he's... I'm sorry, that's a horrible joke. All right. So... We now have... Do we get more points? I swear we got more points just now. Maybe I'm getting more points finally. Let's just see how far we can get. We still have our sniper team. And I obviously want to try something with my snippert. So we're going to go up here. Oh, it wasn't an emplaced machine gun. Or an employed machine gunner. <laughs> for that matter. It's just a regular dude in a bunker. There was a machine gunner back there, I swear. Uh, is there enemies on that ridge? Can't really see. All right, let's take a look at these guys over here, though. I mean, this just feels like bullying. They can't really do anything to stop me. Um, there's, like, a random shot or two coming in. This guy also has a lot of health. He has 700 health. He can take a lot of shots. And we can just uh, snip out of the way a bunch of these enemies. So we'll... Uh... Yep. Ooh, I swear that was not a hit. But, you know, there's a machine over here. Wasn't there, though? Like, I swear there was an in-place machine gun somewhere on that right side. But I guess let's finish off the RPG there. Ooh. And in the meantime, let's take a look over Yeah, there is one over there. It is a in-place machine gun, I think. Ooh, it's a dishcom too. Or a cord, even. Okay, well, you know. I'm assuming, I think a cord is just a more modern dishcom, if I'm not wrong. Well, actually, now I'm probably wrong. I don't know. I know a, a dishcom is a modernized, modernized dishk. But... Is that a guy? I think that's his head. Oh, uh, no, it was the rock. Well, there he is. Oh, he's gone again. Okay, okay. Let's take a look. Can we get to the roof of any of these? I don't want to get up there. That seems a little crazy. 
keep our sniper and our spotter together. Not really that he needs it. So 720 health. This guy is 690. I think that's the extra health comes with the veterancy from getting the kills. So this cord might be hard to hit if we don't exactly hit him right. <laughs> I made that sound like it was going to be a lot harder than it ended up being. Okay, see, so you want to have that full aim to get the full damage in. Because if you don't fully aim, the damage isn't in... See, wow, it's taking me like three shots probably to kill this guy. Four, okay. See, okay, so I was just, I was just testing that. We're just going to have to shoot this guy when it fully aims in. And then we know it's, it's a guaranteed kill. There's, I think... Oh, he was right. Wow. Could you imagine? Could you imagine peeking the enemy sniper after your buddies both got killed like that? I don't think so. I don't think that's happening. In the meantime, we could push our squad of heroes forward. And I guess what we could do, we can buy a martyr and buy a Panzer Grenadier, and then we could put the Panzer Grenadier in the martyr. And can we buy any tank crew? Oh, I don't think we can. It's a little sad. That's a little sad. I would have loved to put someone in this BMP too. But let's put these Panzer Grenadier <coughs> inside the martyr. I mean, it is a Schutzen Panzer, which I think means like armored infantry. No, I don't know what Schutzen means. Well, Schutzen, Schutzen could refer to the fact that it is for like a fire team, like a fire team armor. I think, is that what it maybe refers to? Because that's what SPZ stands for, a Schutzen Panzer. But someone in the comment section will know and will make me seem like an idiot for saying the wrong thing. Anyway, let's get our guys on the road. Um, get them over here. <clears throat> Look, I don't know about you, but the Martyr is such an awesome looking machine. I think I fell in love with this in War Game Red Dragon, where I played a bunch of West Germany. And they had a bunch of different Martyrs in, uh, in War Game Red Dragon. And I think I had like at least two or three variants, maybe even four variants. Um, and you could, if you were playing like mechanized Germany, your uh, infantry could come in these martyrs and they were such good fire support vehicles um also by the way r.i.p to the jaeger meme that's a that's a very old shout out to warging red dragon the little pvp that i played there was a clearly a um a very um a good build for west germany which included uh, this unit called the jaeger i believe um if i'm not wrong and they are basically like a super cheap unit that should have never been 10 points and they had an MG, and they were really good, and they would destroy everything in their way just because of pure memes. Anyway, I feel like we're going really off topic, but the the point still stands. I guess War Game is a cool game, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, well, that guy's taking some fire. He's acting like, like a Tuscan Raider from Star Wars, and now he's a dead Raider. Whatever, that wasn't really a meme. All right, let's run up here. Let's see if we can lob a grenade. See, I don't like the grenade throwing in this. This is why I love the Gates of Hell thing, where you can switch between uh, the direct control modes, like on the fly, by pressing the T button. Because yeah, this is me pressing the T button right now. It's it's not a, it's not a thing. It doesn't work. Okay, let's heal. And by heal, I mean reload. So we got our uh, Schutzenpanzerwagen, or Schutzenpanzer, I should say, not wagon. Schutzenpanzer has arrived, or Schutzpanzer, I don't think it's a Schutzenpanzer. Schutzen, Schutzen, not Schutzen, Schutzenpanzer, I think. So, this doesn't really seem like a, oh, there's a large count, uh, large cooldown on this guy. This doesn't really seem like a huge deal, I mean, there's just a bunch of infantry around here, but this isn't like a, a massive mission. It just says use some explosives to destroy the mortars, so maybe... Okay, there isn't really a way around here. I think I don't know if this martyr is gonna like going up the ridge as much as I think it has to go down the main road. But no one's really telling me to destroy this left fortification. Is there an enemy over here somewhere? There's an enemy somewhere. Well, clearly, but oh, right here. There's just like a the tiniest trench ever. This guy's a shotgun. Who's defending a trench with a shotgun? Don't worry, guys. Uh, when they're 10 feet away from us, I'll be useful. <laughs> Same goes for the SMG guy here. The mini, the mini Uzi, you're going to be very useful uh, in a trench. Uh, oh, my God. Another S12K. Uh, let's take a look. Is there any other S12Ks? Those, that, those guys are pretty nutty. That's pretty fun. Like an RPK, AKM, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. But 
you're not fooling anyone when you're bringing a shotgun or a SMG to a trench. Like, what, are the, what the hell are you going to do? Now, the question is, does our martyr want to go over to Ridge? Just out of pure curiosity. It would, it potentially might. Let's get our Panzer Grenadier to dismount. There's no cool things in here, so... This guy's supposed to come with an AT launcher, by the way, interestingly enough. Okay. Now let's see if we can... All right, there's going to be a bunch of people over here, probably. Yep. That's the mortar right there. One of the two. That's a head, I think. Yep. Yeah, we snagged one of them off there. I wonder if we can snipe the other guy from here. Is that the head? I think that's the head right behind the mortar tube. I did. I did get both. Come on. That's pretty impressive. Come on. All right. Let's do that again. I mean, I don't know if this counts as the objective or not. This feels kind of cheeky. Um, Yeah, you can shoot at me. That's fine. It just adds a little bit more suspense to this moment. Oh, there's a BMP. That's a BMP. That is a BMP. Two coming right oh there's another okay there's a btr this might be the reason why i got myself the martyr just to make sure that they don't pull a meme like this i'm hoping my atgm doesn't auto fire so i do hate when that happens okay oh 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 crap oh crap The BMP's like right here. What the hell is it doing? Is that thing, is the crew nuts? Oh, it just fired my, oh God. They just broke it, they just broke my thing. It's weird how the BMP cannot seem to kill I like. I don't know how to martyr and a BMP can kill each other. I mean, look, this is it has thirty millimeters of armor. This thing should has as a twenty millimeter auto cannon. It should, I think, just straight up destroy it. But what do I know? It doesn't really matter. Whew, little uh, moment of insane scaredness there when the BMP came running over this ridge when I was expecting to come more down the main road. Now I'm not really sure what to do here. Um, I mean, we can just snipe some people. We can drive our martyr over this ridge. What are the vehicles back there? BTR. Oh, ATGM. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, very careful. Oh, did we get him? I think we did. What a mad lad. Wow. All right. So that ATGM is down. I think there's another one uh, over way left, but that should not be a huge issue. We could potentially repair our martyr. And then just run them over to Ridge like an absolute mad lad. That could be really cool. Uh, let's make sure you guys are reloaded. There's infantry coming sort of this way. Let's push you guys more towards this left. I don't know how we can traverse this ridge like we can, but whatever. Oh, what the hell are those guys all doing? They're just all running. All right, whatever. Our Schutzen, pa Schutzen Panzer is almost repaired. When it is, we'll just run it over. Let's make sure you guys stay down. There's no need for you to get injured. I... Oh. Hello. There's a dude behind us here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there there was. There definitely was a dude for like one second. Alright. We have two more shots. Might as well make these count. And then I guess we'll just drive. There's a lot of infantry coming up this ridge, I think. Looking at the mini-map. Is my BMP ready yet? I just want to drive my BMP over this ridge and we'll just destroy this valley. There is that other ATGM. Take our spotter out here. Oof. Okay, that's very satisfying. Okay, our BMP is ready. Oh, we can see the, uh, the ATGM from here. This is going to be the, the snipe of the century. I think we did. I think we got him. This man's an absolute mad lad. 
This man is an absolute man. Let's use this uh, spotter here for a second because the spotter is actually good. The G3, I think it's like it's still a big enough weapon where it's basically like a two-shot kill. Well, I say that now. This, it's already not the truth anymore, but... Come on. Oh, 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 e ooh, uh, e ooh. Okay, let's get you prone. Let's get these guys in cover. BMP or uh, SP. Oh my god, now I'm, now I'm calling my units. Oh my god, what am I doing? What's wrong with me? I just confused the hell out of myself. Ooh, that's a kill. Ooh, that was a good follow up shot. Okay, ATGM. And fire. Perfect hit. Load HE. Start spraying down some of these enemies with the MG3. Accuracy through volume, I think, is the uh, mantra of the uh, German military when they use the MG3. Now let's just see if we can blow up any of these mortar. I think we can do it from here. We're going to have to go over this ridge. <laughs> uh, this is uh, oh hello there Mr. RPG guy very satisfying do you see that it takes like a direct single hit and somebody is gone like that guy's gone okay that was not a hit there he's gone I love the thermal in this game it feels really broken though when you do it like this oh there's a headshot of that dude with 30 or 20 millimeter auto counted hey okay I think we're uh, we just cleaned out this area Martyr. Let's push you down into the ridge here. I did the, po the smoke screen just because it looks cool. Okay, push up to the wall here. Panzer Grenadier. Okay, sniper, you have a target. Aim. Cover the uh, friends who are pushing up. That was horrible. Okay, Panzer Grenadier, they're still moving in. Okay, he's getting shot. He's not dead. Okay, now he's dead. Never mind. We didn't even have to cover our own team. RPK guy looking like an absolute mad lad here. Just like chat walking in and he's about to be... Okay, never mind. Let's not talk about what happened there. Okay. So we just have to explode those mortars. Is this something that's coming in? Okay, it's a BTR with a whole bunch of reinforcements. That's all right. Do we have any... No, maybe this thing has something in it, though. Let's take a look at this truck. Or if not, the, uh, the well, the ammo pile will definitely have something, that's for sure. Let's take a quick look, though, but I'm assuming the truck or maybe this ammo pile will have some C4. Okay, well, the ammo pile, then. All right, come on. Come on. Anytime you want to... Okay, we can get rid of our smoke. Okay, that's an issue. I don't know what just fired at me. It's the AATGM up on this building. Thermal. AP. Save the day. Okay, good. Okay, knock that one of the mortars. <clears throat> Go back, come on. I don't know why you're being so weird. Okay, and then the other one. And yeet. All right, and get back in cover. This would have been so much better if there was just a bunch of voices, you know, like, uh, I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna do all the freaking voices. I don't even know how to speak Arabic, so I couldn't even do these guys, but it's just, like, come on. We can use some voices in the damn game, brother. We have a lot of points. Hopefully that didn't, uh, okay. Well, I guess at this point we might as well get some units because they're probably going to give us a bunch of points, I'd assume. Get some more Panzergren deer. So another martyr with Panzergrens. Okay, push up to the point here. Push up here. Sniper team. Okay, martyr number three. And infantry, you jump in there. Okay, they've dealt with that squad or that guy. Okay, I don't know why you just wasted that. Sometimes I really wonder how this game is like, oh, let's waste the rockets on everything. <laughs> is that's the head of the guy on the SPG, isn't it? Okay, let's load HE. Oh, we're really low on HE ammo though. 
Gonna spray some machine gun ammo again. Accuracy through volume. We mowed down one of the enemies on that building. Can we push him into the uh, zone of this? <gasps> oh god, I thought it just killed everyone there for one second. Is he gonna get ammo back for the ATGM? I doubt it. Okay, it's almost out of HE ammo now. We just have like a billion rounds of AP left. That's whatever. Okay, shoot some Panzerwagen. Shoot some Panzer. Sorry, I just said it again. Wrong again. That's fine. Get you on the road. We can probably knock out that BMP without too much trouble just from way back here. I mean, and this martyr does look very freaking awesome. Like, seriously? I love this thing. I think it's really cool. I'm not even doing this blasting. This is going ham. <laughs> I think it was trying to engage the technical, but it can only see the top, the tippity top of its turret, so it just totally wasted all of its ammo on it. That's a little sad. I don't think we have any resupplied as a machine gunner in there. Oh, I think we knocked him out. Reload. Wonder if this goes up the ridge good enough, but the depression on the gun might not be good. Oh no, it's good. There we go. This feels a little cheaty. Uh, Martyr, super strong. I mean, who knew, right? That vehicle is out. There's infantry like rushing me over here. Where is it? Where is he going? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. BMP. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, let's drive out of there. I mean, oh, I thought that was a kill. Is it not? Okay. Thermal. Back. AP. Our Milan is almost ready again for another shot. Three. Two, one, fire! I think that is a burning BMP too. The map, it's still red, so it might not have been dead dead. Oof. Oh, there it is. No, 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 that's a kill shot. We get it, we did it, we did it. Okay. Push on him. Panzer a deer. I just think that the, the attack missions are more fun. Granted, <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, I know people are going to be like, oh, why are you not playing with Fog of War? Because Fog of War would make this mission last four hours. And I don't think anyone... Well, that's not true. There's going to be one person who's crazy who has four hours of their day to spend watching my videos. But, you know, in general, nobody... And I mean, by that, I mean don't literally everybody. But the majority of people don't have enough time to sit there and watch a four-hour video. And I don't have, have the voice for a four-hour video. Let's be real here. I don't think anyone wants to see me do a four hour video on on just a random call to arms mission. He's down. So there's not many more guys left. I mean, we knocked out the majority of the people over here. It just says we have to destroy their comms array with um, C4. Let's drop the Pantagon Nadir. There's guys at this. What? How were, how were those guys on the map? They're not on the map, I mean. What? They just didn't show up earlier. Not or Obviously, I killed them, but they didn't show up on the map. That's very weird. There's a ZPU over there. Let's say hello. By going in the first, and then... Ooh, nice. All right, let's run forward. And then, I guess, I didn't even really need to use the Martyrs. I mean, it made it a lot easier, for sure. I mean, without the Martyrs, it would have been a lot harder, but... I don't know how I should have done this without getting any reinforcements at all. It's kind of nuts, though, to be honest. Like, Okay. Are those reinforcements? Oh, it's like three freaking... Squ it's almost a platoon of reinforcements coming in. Guess what, though? <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid. Guy's just sitting there waiting to die. Alright, well, we're gonna have to, uh, I guess, come in from this left here. Or we could just break down a wall, really. Watch the... The martyr knock this wall down. Hell yeah, that's cool. 
Oh, we lost somebody. Is he? Oh, he's not rescuable. We're down like two. I think we lost like two friendlies. Oh, that's so sad. There's the machine gun up here. Here's a, oh, there's an, imp there's a, look, there's an anti-tank. Got a missile launcher right here. There we go. Okay, Panzergrenadier and Adir are engaging. This guy doesn't really have much to do in his village anymore. Looks like we're going to have to go direct control some infantry here soon, because this is just kind of a very dangerous zone for our martyrs to drive just into randomly. So I guess, oh, that's a grenade. Where is my MG4? Is this the MG4? Yes. Nope. Yes. Oh, that's a grenade. Yo, buddy. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right. Oh, that's a whole other company coming over to freaking rage right now. Oh, that's giving me some Rambo style PTSD. Let's get out of here. And, um. Let's check this out first person, eh? Done. That's pretty cool. There's another guy behind that. Oh, crap. We lost him. Oh, I don't know. Oh, the machine gunner, maybe? That's not good. Okay, we gotta get in there. I think we mowed down the majority of those people that were there, but now we have to- Oh, there's a guy right here. Hello. Wow. Alright, brutal. Hey, right, let's see if this martyr- let's see if this works or not. Is he gonna do this? Oh, come on! What? Really? That's a thing? The game is- the game doesn't care. What the hell? The game is just like, oh yeah, you can drive your freaking martyr into this- onto this ridge and it's at that speed. Look at the incline on this. This is like 60 degrees. What? Oh, so we didn't even complete the mission, technically speaking. This wasn't even the area where we had to go to. Well, it doesn't matter. Wow, come on. Like, the game- I don't know. Maybe- Maybe I could play Heroic next time, but with that, we are going to finish this mission. That is a insane kill-to-death ratio for the German military. I got to say, they did a really good job, but we might even try to play Heroic next time because it seems like hard. It's not hard enough. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'd love to see you in the next one. Cheers.